Hello. So this week we are going to talk in grammar, we're going to talk about clauses. And a clause is not somebody who brings you gifts at Christmas. <laughs> That's one kind of clause. This is a clause that we use in grammar. And so a clause is a group of words and it has a subject and a predicate. And so sometimes a clause can be, can stand alone and be a sentence. Sometimes it can't stand alone and be a sentence. So we're gonna look at two different kinds of clauses. We're gonna look at clauses that can be a sentence and clauses that can't be a sentence. All right, so let's, I'm gonna share my paper with you so that you can look at yours and mine together. So, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I write my name at the top. I'm also gonna get rid of the other paper that I don't need to see. <laughs> All right, so my name is at the top. So a clause is a group of words with a subject and a predicate. You can also, if you have a highlighter in your pack, um, you can also highlight a clause as a group of words with a subject and a predicate, right? Um, sometimes I don't like to highlight on these because sometimes it shows through on the back. <laughs> so we'll see. If a clause can stand alone as a sentence, it is an independent clause. So I'm going to underline stand alone and sentence, and then I'm going to highlight independent clause. A dependent clause cannot stand alone. Many dependent clauses begin with a transition word such as before, after, since, because, who, whose, that, or which. Okay, so that's giving you a little bit of a clue. We know that an independent clause can stand alone. It can be its own sentence, but a dependent clause can't stand alone. And sometimes they start with words like because, since, after, before, who's, that, which, right? All right, so here are some examples. Dependent clause, since they had no water for crops, they had to leave the ranch. So this cannot be a complete sentence on its own, since they had no water for crops. The since makes you think that the sentence is gonna continue, but then it ends. So it's not, it's not gonna be independent because of that word since on there. They had to leave the ranch. That could stand on its own. It has a subject and a predicate and it could stand on its own. Here's another example. Chavez was the leader. So that could stand on its own. That could be a little short sentence. It has a subject, Chavez, was the leader as the predicate. There's the verb was, was the leader as the predicate. It could stand all by itself. That the workers chose. Well, here's the word that, that kind of ruins it and makes it, it, makes it dependent, right? So dependent means it can't be its own sentence. Independent means it can stand alone. Here's a little thinking question. What clauses can stand alone? Which clauses cannot stand alone? Well, we know that words that start with before, after, since, because, who, whose, that, or which are going to be dependent. Okay, so our task is, and this is a little bit tricky. So normally I put on the Jeopardy music and let you work on it, but I think we should do these all together. And then next, the next worksheet, maybe you'll have a better handle on it. And so we'll let you, I'll do some and you can do some. We're gonna underline the dependent clause in each sentence. Circle the transition word that introduces the dependent clause. Okay, so we're looking for all of these words up here that we highlighted. So I'm gonna look for the word first and then I'm gonna underline the clause, okay? And remember the clause have, has to have a subject and a predicate. After they worked long hours, migrant workers had little to eat. After is my word right there. So I'm gonna circle the transition word. 
And this is my subject and predicate after they work long hours. So if I had gotten rid of the after, that could stand alone. They is the subject, work long hours is the predicate, okay? All right, let's look at number two. Workers who complained to the owners were fired, punished, or even killed. So let's see, I'm looking for a dependent clause. I'm looking for before, who, who right here, who complained to the owners were fired. So I'm gonna put who here, who complained to the owners were fired. All right, number three, the farm workers suffered because their work was so hard. I'm seeing the because right there. And so we're going to underline, we would say their work was so hard. That could be the subject, their work. Here's the predicate was so hard. So if the because wasn't there, it would not be dependent, it would be independent. All right, until that looks like a, until, is that one? It's not on our list. Until Chavez organized the workers, they had no way to fight back. Before, after, since, because, who, who's that, which. I think that until is one, it's just not up there. Chavez organized the workers. That could be a sentence all by itself. Subject is Chavez. Predicate is organize the workers because the verb is organized, right? These are tricky. After the after is up here, right? After the workers began to march, other people learned about their cause. And this could be a complete sentence on its own if the after wasn't there. The workers is the subject, began to march is the predicate. Okay, let's do the last one together. A huge cheering crowd met the marchers when they, when is one of them? When, we have who's, that, which, we don't have when there, but when is a question word and that's the most logical. When, and we have they reached Sacramento. Again, they is the subject, reached is, reached Sacramento is the predicate. Okay, so I hope this helped you. I hope you understand that there are two types of clauses. There is an independent clause and there is a dependent clause. And the way that you find a dependent clause is looking for a clue word. Before, after, since, because, who, who's, that, which, until, and when. We added two to their list that they didn't put up above. All right, thank you for joining me. Hope you learned about independent and dependent clauses. We will see you at the, uh, during the next grammar video. Talk to you later.